Today I will show you how to use Ohm's law to calculate voltage, current, and resistance. So the formula is V equals I times R. So this V here, it's voltage. I here is current. And R here is resistance. Okay, so let's do the first example. We have to calculate the voltage and the current and resistance is already given in the question. So step number one is we write down what's given to us. Step number two is to write down what we need to calculate. What do we need to solve for, which is voltage in this case. Now, the third step is to write down the formula, which is V equals to I multiply with R. Now, step number four is basically when you manipulate the formula to isolate the variable that you need to solve for. But in this case, we're solving for voltage, which is right here. We don't need to do any manipulation. Okay, so we're just going to simply plug in the values and solve for voltage. So current, we, we know from the question is 0 0.5 amps. Multiply by resistance. Now simply go ahead and multiply these two numbers. The answer is 1. So the voltage is 1 volt. Okay, so let's do the second example. We need to calculate current. The voltage and the resistance is given to us. Okay, so step number one, let's write down what is given to us. So voltage is 1.2 volts and resistance is 0 0.6 ohm. Step number two is to write down the unknown, the thing that we need to solve for, which is current. Okay, step number three is to write down the formula, which is V equals to I times R. Okay, so we're going to manipulate the formula to isolate I because that's what we need to solve for. We are multiplying resistance with current. So we're going to divide it, that's the opposite. So divide this by R. What we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. This cancel each other out. We're left with I equals to V over R. Okay, so in step four, we're just going to plug in the numbers and calculate I. So voltage is 1.2 volts and resistance is 0 0.6 ohm. Simply go ahead and divide these two numbers. So the answer is 2 amps. So the current is 2 amps. Okay, there is another trick that we can use to figure out which formula we're going to be using. We're going to use this triangle method here. We're solving for I in this. So I is right here. Let's write down I equals, we see voltage V is at the top of this line and R is at the bottom. So we're just going to simply copy this V over R. Okay, so let's do another example. Okay, so in this example, we have to calculate the resistance. The current is given to us and the voltage is also given. So step one, write down the known. Write down what's given to us. So current is 1.1 amps and voltage is 2.2 volts. 
let's write down what we need to solve for. That is resistance. Now, step three tells us to write down the formula, which is V equals to I times R. Okay, let's manipulate the formula. We need to solve for resistance here. And we're multiplying the I with R. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide this by I. What we do to the one side, we do to the other side. This cancel each other out. We are left with resistance equals to voltage over current. Okay, so we're going to now plug in the values and solve for resistance. Voltage here, we know, is 2.2 volts. Current here is 1.1 amps. So simply just divide the numbers and calculate the answer. So the resistance is 2 ohms. Now, we can also use this triangle here, a shortcut. We need to solve for R here. Let's write down R equals the V is at the top of this line. Okay, so let's put V. Let's put the line I because I is at the bottom. So there are two ways to solve these problems. You can use the formula V equals I times R. You can manipulate the formula to isolate the variable that you need to solve for. Or you can use this triangle method, which is an easier way. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.